Tonight's Coronation Street spoiler show Paul gets bad news about his health. He finds out his condition is progressing and this will be his last Christmas. Bernie is in turmoil, especially given her recent arrest, but can she be there for her son? Meanwhile, Gemma is also struggling as Joseph is still poorly. Taking him back to A, will she get the help she thinks she needs? Things seem to be looking up for Paul and Billy at the start of the episode. Billy is called to a meeting with the bishop who informs him it's time he came back to work. Meanwhile, Bernie accompanies Paul to his speech therapy session, telling Deb the police can wait as this is more important. When Paul tells the therapist about his recent coughing fits, it's clear she's concerned. And panic sets in when she insists they see the MND nurse. Is in a great mood after finding out his suspension has been lifted, but that quickly changes when Bernie calls from the hospital. As he rushes to be by his husband's side, the MND nurse breaks the terrible news Paul only has 6 to 12 months left to live. This will be his last Christmas. As Chesney tries to put his foot down over Joseph returning to school, despite saying he's still feeling unwell, Gemma isn't sure. She ignores her husband and keeps Joseph at home. And when Joseph says his head still hurts, Gemma wants answers and rushes him back to A. Bernie blames herself in Coronation Street spoilers. With Paul's heartbreaking news, Bernie can't believe it when Abby tells her Joseph is in A. She blames herself. Sharing her troubles with Abby, Bernie says it's all her fault because she was such a terrible mum. At last, Carla realizes where her priorities lie in tonight's Coronation Street spoilers. As Peter tells her he's happy to go to his AA meeting alone, she heads off to the factory. Soon feeling guilty about choosing work over Peter, Carla rushes home to be by his side. She insists there are more important things than work and she's going with him. Peter's touched, but with his exit looming, we know there are more stormy waters ahead. Amy organizes a drop-in for the counseling charity and Summer helps out. When a girl calls in, Summer hands her a flyer. However, as Summer and Amy are distracted, the girl leaves and Amy's cross with herself for not paying more attention. Summer is worried her friend is getting too involved, but will Amy realize that?